Hi, good morning everyone. It's about 6.45 a.m. here and just getting ready for the day. I decided to do this video now uh, because it's a question that keeps coming up about skin. Okay, with PC, some of us, with PCO sufferers, you may get dark patches around your body and um, it can be on your face, it can be behind your neck. Uh, for me, it was behind my neck, under pits, um, my groin area between my inner thighs and for those of you who have it know what I'm speaking about what happens is there's a dark velvety skin well, well velvety color or dark color that emerges and the skin area might even become thick or um, velvety in its texture so what to do about it so before I even change my diet so let me just tell you one thing I am I have no dark spots behind my neck anymore or under my armpits. Um, still, the groin area is kind of like, it's a little bit t TMI here, but <laughs> the groin area still is it's lightning. And behind, uh, and uh, my inner thigh is also huge difference in the skin um, discoloration, huge. So uh, I'm, I I'm just touting the diet. But be besides that part, um, what you can do as a remedy in the interim as you change your diet and as you go through your processes, Take vitamin C, um, definitely take vitamin C, vitamin E, like multivitamin. Up your vitamin C because that produces collagen. Um, you can also uh, put, um, okay, so lemon juice, it's a huge skin lightener. So lemon juice, you can mix it with milk a little bit and apply it. Um, you can just use a mix uh, lemon water, uh, lemon juice from actual lemon um, with water and apply it. Um, you can mix it with honey and apply it on your face as a mask. It is a major skin toner and skin lightener. Is it going to solve the underlying problem? No, that's going to be through diet. But while you're going through that, especially if you have discoloration on your face, I know how stressful that can be. And I can only imagine how it can be if you, you know, for those of you who have that issue, my heart goes out to you because that could also wreak havoc on your, you know, self esteem and so forth. So, you know, love there. Point here is, um, that will assist you um, with the skin lightening piece. Drink lots of water and up your vitamin C. And the reason I'm saying up your vitamin C is, uh, I think I mentioned this already, it increases your collagen levels. Also, along with that, take in some collagen. So collagen um, uh, powder. And uh, actually, I have some here. Let me show you. Don't mind the, don't mind the kitchen. So collagen uh, here is what I take. I just started this recently. Um, this is a current thing that I'll do a, a video on. It's more to do with skin and so forth. So if you take that, that can also assist with the skin um, clarity and, and so forth. But then again, if you're eating the wrong foods, too much sugar, um, if you're eating gluten and you have allergies to it, if your insulin, of course, back to the basics, if your insulin is wreaking havoc through the day you're not going to have a normalized hormone level so i don't know for those of you who have been pregnant i never have been but people talk about you know the pregnancy mask that happens where they get this dark discoloration on their face because of all the, the hormones are kind of whacked but in a different way with pcos hormones are whacked so you need to stabilize it through the insulin so again uh, takeaway from here definitely utilize your diet it can get better, my first uh, comment. Secondly, up your vitamin intake. Do take everything, but up your vitamin C at this point if you have this, the skin issue. Um, collagen, uh, you know, uh, potential as well, uh, taking that. Uh, lots and lots of water. And uh, definitely detoxing. I forgot to mention that detoxing through hot yoga, going to a sauna, sweating it out as you're, you know, as you're accumulating uh, and trying to get rid of and balancing um, your hormones and your extra extra testosterone and stuff like that Hopefully this made sense any questions or comments, please let me know um, it, I'm sure some of you are gonna ask me about how much um, lemon to you put in and how much for example milk to mix in So I would say like for example two tablespoons of milk with a tablespoon of lemon uh, If you want to mix it with water just you know tablespoon spoon of lemon, you know two tablespoon of water uh, So the consistency uh, because it, it can be quite harsh. I personally use it directly um, And um, but you know, so it, it depends again it depends on your skin sens sensitivity and so forth But just to be safe and caution uh, I have caution around this 
whatever you're gonna mix it with, just double the other one. So if you're using a, table, a teaspoon of um, lemon juice, use two teaspoons of whatever else you're gonna mix it in with. Um, some of you, oh yes, and also too, you can use it in every, anywhere, under pits, down there, all that. I've done it, so I know it's okay. Again, it's entirely up to you how you want to use the lemon lemon juice. Any questions or comments, let me know. I'll um, speak about this a little bit more, but I just wanted to indicate this because there were some uh, concerns about this um, skin issue, which is a real issue. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.